after having considered a uh, few special cases of uh, vector sub vector spaces generated by subsets of a vector space namely uh, subsets containing one vector or maybe two vectors or um, few vectors after having analyzed what happens algebraically we are going to see the geomet their geometric representations through the following animations so let's start again from the simplest case which involves just one vector v inside the set s and we consider the vector space generated by just this unique vector v as we have seen the set uh, the vector space generated as a set is just multiples of v. Therefore, the animation relevant to this case is precisely the animation that we already seen previously. So here we are drawing about 200 elements of the vector space generated just by v. Therefore, multiples of v through the random choice of about 200 scholars. So in this, in this special case, we see that when there is one generator that is non zero, that is, of course, if the vector were zero, if V were the origin, then the vector space generated by V would be just the origin because any scalar multiplied by origin is just, again, the origin, so the null vector. Okay, in this particular case, we see that V is non-zero. Therefore, multiplying it by about 200 different scalars, we get 200 vectors that are being placed, apparently are being placed on the straight line passing through V and the origin. Okay, next easiest example is when we take S to be just two vectors. We call them, instead of v1 and v2, as in the algebraic uh, discussion, we call them v and w. We take linear combinations, about 3,000 of them, and represent them in the, in the three-dimensional space R3, and see what they look like. Okay, so we have randomly chosen the coefficients of the linear combination of two vectors in order to have about 3,000 different linear combinations. And as we see, they are spread out in the space and from this angle it is not easy to understand if there is some clear pattern of the um, placement of all these uh, the, all, all these vectors, but if we keep going in the animation, then we will be spin, spinning the, ca the camera around a certain path and we will see from different perspectives this cloud of vectors. So as you notice from this frame or this frame even, they are all placed on something that looks like a plane. Okay. This is indeed the case, as we will see later in the course. The next case involves three vectors. Now we start from V and W. Uh, these are exactly the same vectors as before. And we add a new one, which we call Z. Okay. And once again, we draw about 3,000 different linear combinations of these three vectors, randomly choosing the coefficients of the linear combination, and see what happens, where these vectors are going to um, place, and if we will see if there is some pattern, geometrical pattern, in the cloud of these linear combinations. We are going to pan the point of view around and see if we can detect some particular shape in the cloud. 
Well, it doesn't look like so. So if you just stop at any given time, it looks like that it's pretty much uniformly this spread out over the region around these three vectors. Okay. So in in this in this situation we don't really recognize any any particular geometrical form in the cloud of linear combinations. In the last animation we start from the same three vectors but we will be slightly moving the vector z until a certain position. Let's see. There you go. And then we will take about 3000 uh, linear combinations of these three vectors again, but with z move to this new position and see see what happens to the cloud of points. Okay, it's not clear from this point of view what's going on. So let's just uh, pan once again the point of view around the z-axis. Oh, that's quite strange though, you see? Now they are all orderly displaced on something that looks like a plane. Once again, it looks like the situation of two vectors instead of three. Yeah. How can this be possible? So let's see if they indeed fit on a plane. So I actually draw um, the plane. Of course, I know that they all fit on a plane. Therefore, I somehow mm, draw the plane that fits on all these linear combinations and see if the fitting is good. Yeah, it looks like perfect. Okay. From here you can see that every single linear combination really lies on that plane. So how can this be possible? We just moved slightly the vector z and we pass from a cloud of linear combination that is totally random in the space to a very much ordered cloud of uh, linear combination displays on a plane. We passed from Z being linearly unrelated to V and W to a vector Z which is a linear combination of V and W. So as we commented in the algebraic analysis of the you know, special examples of vector subspaces generated by sets when one of these vectors is linear combination of the others we see that the, its contribution to the vector space generated is non-existent and this is exactly this case so as we see if we had taken 3000 linear combination of v and w without z we would have gotten a cloud of vectors probably different from this one but still displacing on the same plane.